10 shortages that we need to discuss tonight. And I'm trying a new coffee. Let's discuss. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dan O with Frank, the bald eagle here. So I am trying 8 o'clock coffee. 8 o'clock coffee. I've never had it before. Uh, it's always been one, uh, you know, I may have years ago and just didn't know it. I don't know, but uh, I could not ever remember trying 8 o'clock coffee. I know we have hundreds of viewers on the channel that like 8 o'clock coffee. So let's give it a shot here. It's good. It, um, I don't know. First reaction. So I kind of got this when I was brewing it. I was like, this smells like coffee in like an old diner or something. Like an old diner. Like that kind of coffee. And I kind of got that like right as... And I was tempted to try it before I even got on the video here. I was like, no, no. Get my full reaction here. It's okay. It's smooth. I don't really know how to describe it. I'm going to take another taste here. It's okay. It tastes like regular coffee. Like, I just like how it smelled. It tastes like one of those old coffees just to get you, you know, for, for a lunch coffee or something and like an old diner. That's the best way I can describe it. Anyway, if you have to hit pause to get your coffee together, go ahead and do so now. We will be discussing the food shortage report. These are 10 items. It's not just food. There's a couple mixed in here that aren't food. But wanted to talk about these. These are all from you guys. These are all from you. Um, I've seen a couple issues with these that we'll, we'll talk about here in a minute. Um, and then after that, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the holiday sales that are coming out this week. So stick around for that. Let's get right into it here. The 10 items. Number one, cornstarch. A lot of comments on cornstarch lately. I don't, I don't know what it is. I remember a few months back, a lot of people were saying they were having trouble finding cornstarch. Uh, I, I was finding that Argo cornstarch, but not finding a lot of store brand. So today I went to Meyer. So if you have a Meyer, they do have cornstarch. They have their brand. <coughs> it's a dollar ninety nine. It's like I think it's two sixty nine for Argo, which it's a little smaller. Um, but I, I do see Argo everywhere. Um, well, not everywhere, but whenever we were finding the shortage of, shortages of it months ago. That was the one that I was finding. But continuing to keep our eye out on that one. Okay, so we got a few comments. Uh, and I just put this together because we got a few comments on rice, bags of rice, and dry beans. We're always getting comments on these. But because this was in the week pattern, a week's pattern of what we've been following, I wanted to mention this again because we are seeing price increases on dry beans. Not so much. We we have saw some price increases on rice at least here in Cincinnati, Ohio, a couple months ago. But now more and more people are talking about it. So I don't know if the prices are just spreading out, right? Or if it's going away. So for those where it's going away, it may be coming back at a higher price. One of the big ones that we've gotten a few comments on is Mahatma. Mahatma, right? Mahatma brand rice. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Uh, dry beans are hit or miss everywhere. One day I'll go into Kroger and they're gone. The next week I'll go in and, and it's not full, but there's they're definitely getting shipments of them. So nothing to be too concerned about yet. Um, number three on the list is bread. Bread is one that keeps coming up in the comments as well. Someone sent, two people sent me emails of one of them was Sunbeam, like completely gone. Now we saw this about a year ago at our stores around here. Sunbeam was $2.29 a loaf. It disappeared for like three weeks. What happens? Comes back at a very high price of $2.49. For Sunbeam, that's expensive. Sunbeam is a cheaper quality bread that should not be over $2. I mean, I would almost rather have Kroger bread or great, great value bread. You know, I'm not a big fan of great value bread, but that was one. Great value bread was one that someone had also said uh, was in very short supply. And we've gotten a lot of comments over the last couple months on great value bread going away but it's come back like that's what i've noticed at ours we don't have much trouble getting the white or that honey wheat bread but some of the other ones have been hard to get in plus we saw some price increases too we saw where the honey wheat went up to a dollar 78 uh which is pretty high for great value bread okay Next on this list, aluminum foil. Aluminum foil seems to be another big one this year. It usually is. 
the same time last year, we were seeing shortages of aluminum foil and, um, and, and most of it's Reynolds wrap. Store brands seem to be okay. At least Reynolds Wrap is the one that we've gotten the comments on, and it was the one that was in very short supply last year. I feel like a lot of people don't care what the price is. They're going to spend the money for Reynolds Wrap, and that's probably why it's flying off the shelves. I've seen it in short supply myself at Kroger, Walmart, but, you know, you'll find all the other brands. And, and let me say, too, with the way prices are going up on aluminum foil, may not be a bad idea to buy some, at Dollar Tree just to know you have it. Uh, some people uh, always comment on how good the Dollar Tree value aluminum foil is a and some of the other stores as well. I wouldn't say like, it's funny because Family Dollar, theirs is almost as expensive as Reynolds Wrap. So, you know, I don't know, take that for what you will. Uh, but there, we did notice a lot of shortages on aluminum foil last year. Uh, number five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Folgers Coffee. Now, this is a strange one. Over the last week, I've gotten a few comments f that Folgers has been low or out in some stores. Now, I've never had any comments on Folgers, and I've never seen any problems. The only issue that we had was a few months ago when they started changing the, the advertising, right? Now, we see where these shrink flate. Right, we see where they've gotten smaller in products. Is it getting smaller again? I doubt it. It seems a little early. What may be happening is you're just now getting the changed over product. Maybe it hasn't come in yet. Like, and none of them were the original. Some of them said the 100% Colombian. I know that one changed. Somebody said the black silk. Uh, that one changed too. It's it's like different advertising, and, and the sizes were smaller. So maybe now that your store or wherever you shop at has sold out of all the other ones. And now they're getting the shrinkflated uh, with the new advertising on it. The funny thing is, is that when they first shrinkflated, they were in a regular container, but now they've changed. Like there's like plastic, like coloring on it and stuff. It just, it looks fancier, I guess, but it's not, it's the same coffee just with different advertising on it. So hopefully Hopefully this is not an issue because I know a lot of people who drink Folgers coffee and, and are well stocked because I tell people all the time, you know, when you find us, especially when you find a sale on Folgers, when it's now it's, you know, the sales are going up higher and higher. But, you know, I remember when it was $6.99, a lot of people were buying it up on the digital coupons and stuff like that. And that's smart because that's going to be the next thing to go up. We're finding less and less sales on Maxwell House, Folgers, some of the regulars here, store brand coffees. Right, we saw where Meyer went up last month. Their brand, Kroger's, well, theirs went up a while back, but I mean, you know, it's still really ex eight ninety nine is expensive for a store brand. I mean, it is, and, and even Walmart, great value brands going up too. All of their coffees have gone up. Even their, even the name brands, Folgers went up there. Not, not the original, but all the other ones did. Okay, next on the list, olive oil. We've gotten a few comments on olive oil over the last few months. A couple in the last week or so. So I wanted to bring this up. This is one of the items that was said that um, that it was going to be in a much shorter supply toward winter of 2023. Now we've been seeing this uh, as we go along. I haven't seen much of an issue, but I don't buy a lot of olive oil. But I know there were issues with the different olive trees in Italy. So if you're buying more of the high dollar, fancier olive oils, maybe Bertoli, some of these other different olive oils, yeah, there's probably gonna be some shortages of, of those. However, today at Meyer, it was fully stocked. So keep that in mind. If you have Meyer, you may wanna check there for olive oil. I know some people were saying Sam's Club. Um, and yeah, I need to get back to Sam's Club. It's been a little while, so maybe we'll go there this week. I'm trying to focus on the different holiday sales, the best sales that we can find this week. And a quick preview, Meyer sales looked pretty good today. The holiday sales, guys, it is time to prepare. It is time to stock up on these deals. There are some really good deals at Meyer, and we have some really good deals coming up at Kroger as well. And now I'll be going to Kroger here in a couple days. I'm excited. I'm excited to do these videos. I was really excited at Meyer today. It's good to bring some good news of some of these things. And a uh, little bit of a spoiler alert, their turkeys are on sale, 59 cents a pound. Uh, I'll just give away the turkeys here. Just I know I don't want to spoil the whole thing, but 
Uh, they're, they're young turkeys. The Meyer turkeys are 59 cents a pound. No extra purchase required, at least at our Meyer. Uh, might be different in some of the other places that have Meyer. I don't know. But at least in Cincinnati, Ohio, 59 cents a pound. That's it. And then uh, Butterball, $1.29 a pound. And that may get a little cheaper, but I don't know. Uh, honeysuckle was $1.09 a pound. Now, that's 99 cents a pound at Walmart. So Walmart will be a little cheaper on that. But $1.09 a pound, even at Meyer, I mean, that's great. That doesn't really warrant you going to another store unless there's multiple things that you need to buy in another store. But anyway, back to the list here. This is one I keep scratching my head about here because, you know, I don't want to see us go through this again. Been getting more and more comments on canned cat food. Now, I haven't been checking any pet food, really, because, I mean, I'll, I'll check if it's on sale or something, but we haven't gotten any comments on it. So, And, and we've seen plenty of pet food. We've seen plenty of dry, plenty of cat, and I kind of glance over it as we go along in the stores, but because we haven't really gotten any comments on it lately, I haven't really been talking about it. <clears throat> now, I will say this, and our longtime viewers will remember this speech I give, <laughs> and uh, quick disclaimer, Chewy.com does not uh, sponsor me or pay me anything to do this, but I, I want people to be able to get their pet food, and that is the most important thing. Uh, Chewy.com, if you are in their service area, $49 gets you free shipping. Now, there were some people that were saying that they've lowered that, okay? I don't know. It might be different in different states. Some people were saying $35 now gets you free shipping, but I looked it up, and it was still saying $49, but I don't you know, I don't know. We don't have pets and I wasn't going through the whole order process and all that stuff. So, you know, you may want to check that out. If you know, let us know down in the comments. Um, but canned cat food keeps coming up. Frisky or not, um, fancy feast. So we will be checking on that. Uh, I had so much to go over at Meyer today. I did not check at Meyer, but Meyer usually carries a good amount of pet food. Um, and Kroger has been too. So we'll check Kroger. Uh, but again, this week, it is holiday sale eruption week, guys. I mean, it is like it's happening everywhere. The holiday sales are here, and we need to go over these things. But I will try to go over the pet food, too, as we go along, at least to make sure they're getting it in. Because we did get about uh, four or five comments on different cat food. Uh, somebody sent an email, a photo as well, with the cat food looked pretty, pretty, uh, it was Walmart. Walmart, which was even more scary. Um, but again, we'll check these things as we go along because we do not want our furry little friends going without. I mean, I guess if we have to, we'll just, you know, make our own food. I know a lot of people on the channel cook their own pet food. You know, I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, okay, let's finish this list here and then we'll kind of just chat for a few minutes. Uh, next on the list, I'm not surprised here, Aldi broth. Okay, now... It's been low for a long time. Our Aldi, sometimes they don't even have it in, or they'll just have one. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know where it's at, where it's gone, but their chicken, beef, all of their broth seems to be hit or miss constantly. Now, it's $1.29 a box, right, which is 32, it's, uh, it's four cups, so 32 ounces, um... But yeah, yeah, broth has been an issue. Been getting a lot of comments. Uh, people were talking about the different sales going on at Aldi. Uh, we're going to get to Aldi here hopefully by the end of the week. I have a lot to do with uh, with the different sales. I don't know if we're going to visit Kroger twice this week or not. We may have to, depending on how many sales they have. Usually, if Meyer has a thing going on like this, Kroger is probably going to have something that's even double. And with Kroger... We are able to compare all around the country because we have so many Kroger-owned stores with Smith's, King Supers, Harris Teeter, Dillon's, uh, Food for Less out west, uh, all of them. All there's so many. There's so many. Um, but yes, we will be going over all of the different sales, all the special deals. I'm gonna do as much as I can, even if I have to make a video that's a little bit longer traditionally for some of these videos. This is important, guys. We got to take advantage of some of these sales while they're here, not just for the holidays, but beyond, beyond. I saw some really great deals at Meyer today, uh, and I expect to see some of the same or more at Kroger. Okay, now here's one that I'm a little, I, I, I don't know what's going on. I have seen the prices, we have seen the prices skyrocket on this though here in Cincinnati. Milk, milk, so we got a few comments. 
that you've been having trouble finding milk. And one of our longtime viewers was saying that three different stores you went to didn't have any whole milk. That they had like fat free, uh, and one didn't have whole milk or two percent. Okay, now this is this is a bit of an issue. I, you know, we dealt with this about a year ago, a little over a year ago. I think it was end of last summer, 2022, where milk was just they just weren't getting it in, and then we saw this back during the uh, beginning of the, you know, the pandemic and all that. Um, but yeah, like toilet paper and everything else, it seems to be an issue. Like every year, we find some kind of issue with some things with dairy. Now, I will say this. We've been seeing, other than cheese, knock on wood, surprisingly, cheese has stayed the same price. That'll be next, believe me. But butter has been going up. Butter is going back up again. Uh, and milk has reached uh, all-time highs here in Cincinnati, Ohio. So it doesn't surprise me that we're having it, an issue of shortages. Okay, because if that's the case... That could be what's driving the prices up as well. I don't really know. We just started getting comments on this this week. So, you know, let us know down below if you have seen any issues in your stores with milk. Haven't seen really any issues around here. It has been low at Meyer, but it's been low at Meyer for a while. I just don't think they get in as much as they used to. Um, but always see plenty at Kroger. United Dairy Farmers, you know, we have a lot of milk, um, we, we have a lot of dairy farmers here in Ohio, and we have a lot of competition. We have United Dairy Farmers, which, I mean, they're like, <laughs> that's the best milk if you ask me, but it's $5 a gallon. It's expensive. Kroger's a lot cheaper. That's probably, Kroger is the one that we usually get, and, and it tastes really good. Uh, I do not like Meyer milk. I, me and Jess, I don't know. We're particular about it. We love milk, but I mean, I don't know. Meyer milk just really isn't that good. <coughs> Excuse me. One sec. You know, that coffee's kind of growing on me. It's real smooth. It is a good, probably good nighttime coffee. I kind of like, I, I usually put in the same amount when I brew a pot of coffee. I usually put in the same amount, and then depending on what it is, I might, I would probably add like maybe another little scoop. Not much, just a little bit. It is, it's not weak, but I don't know. It's okay. It's not bad. I, you know, I, the price is kind of ridiculous on it though. It, eight o'clock coffee keeps going up in price. Seattle's best went up. They both went up at the same time. You think these companies ain't watching each other? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Okay, last on the list, no surprise here, toilet paper. Now, we were seeing issues a couple weeks ago with Scott and um, Quilted Northern. Now, we've seen Quilted Northern come back in at a much higher price, like $2, on their, $2 more on their biggest uh, thing of toilet paper. Uh, Charmin, you know, it, Charmin still beats them by like $2. And I know some people s swear by Charmin. I hope that you're just trying to find the best deals out there. Cause really they aren't, there aren't any, unless you're, you know, going for one of those spin this and say, you know, like sometimes Meyer will have a deal on PNG products, which Charmin is PNG, uh, where you spend $25 and then you'll save $5 on your next trip. Like, okay, I could see where you can work that in, but at the same time, Toilet paper is getting very expensive. So I'm not surprised if you're seeing some different shortages on some of your favorite toilet paper or, you know, I, I remember, what was it, a month ago when we were looking around at Kroger and it was like, it it looked bad. Like, I mean, there was a lot of toilet paper missing. Um, but since then, it looks better. But we have seen where different, you know, places are adding different things. Like we saw a big, big pallet there in front of all the toilet paper where all the quilted northern was don't know if that's still there or not it was there last week that's not it's like candles and stuff like that where normally more toilet paper was now the scott issue uh people were talking about dollar tree now we've seen less at dollar tree of both brands the dollar tree uh whatever brand that is just says bathroom tissue on it um and then they have the scott tissue which was uh, i know some people were saying that they your dollar tree doesn't even have it anymore maybe it's shrinking because yeah they're not going to change the price on that or maybe it's outpricing dollar tree we've seen it go up in price at kroger we saw it go from five dollars to 5.99 to 6.49 
I wouldn't be surprised if we go to Kroger and it's six ninety nine the next time. That, you know, it's like once they start going up like fifty cents a week or fifty cents every couple weeks, it doesn't seem to stop until it's gone up a dollar or two. And then they're just watching for the next wave of price increases for them to be able to storm out some more price increases. It's the never ending cycle, guys. I'll tell you what, ever since uh, the big whirlwind of things a few years ago, I just feel like, you know, no matter what inflation is, no matter what they tell you, don't let them lie to you. These grocery prices are, are continuing to soar. And this is why we talk about these things, you know, like it's good, it's good to take advantage of all these different holiday sales, but we have to watch some of the other sales too of things that were, you know, like over the counter medicines. We need to take advantage of some of this stuff because I'll tell you what, the, it, this stuff's going to start getting really expensive. We're already seeing, I we've seen two price increases on Kroger ibuprofen in the last year. It's gone up two dollars a bottle for the five hundred count in the last year. We're seeing, we're hearing comments, uh, you know, and and I went, I tried to not go over the ones that we've been going over, like some of the different over the counter medicines, like acetaminophen seems to be one uh, store brands that's kind of flying off the shelves. Not so much Tylenol, but Tylenol is expensive. Advil, they're going to always have these because they're expensive, right? But now we're seeing store brands get expensive too. Uh, even Equate, even Equate at Walmart has been getting very pricey as well. So we need to watch that. I need to get back at Walmart and check on some of the different uh, over the counter medicines. Cause we have gotten some comments over the last month, maybe two months, uh, that a lot of different things have been changing around Walmart. I don't know if they're not selling some of these different products anymore. I know the last couple times I've gone to Walmart, I haven't been able to find my contact solution, which kind of stinks. I had to get Kroger and yeah, it's the same. Um, and really it's only like 50 cents more. So that's not a huge gripe. Um, cause I buy the two pack Right, but I've always liked the Walmart brand, and it's compared to Optifree, which is top of the line. Uh, arguably, probably made in the same place. I think I think it's all made in Texas. I think the uh, contact solution is uh, all made at uh, Bosch and Loam uh, in Texas. So, pretty much the same thing as Optifree. That's why they say compared to it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to the rant tonight. These are just ten things that you guys have been going over. We like to cover these things that way. Um, you have a chance, other people have a chance to leave in the comments of where you might be finding these products or even easier, maybe where to find them online. We've been kind of doing a little bit of research to see where some of our Canadian viewers, our Canadian friends on the channel here can get some of these over the counter medicines. Cause if they're not, if you can't get them uh, in Canada and we got a lot of comments, you know, people who have children that can't find different children's medicines. I mean, that is not cool. Same thing happened last year. I, I don't know what's going on, but you know, we're, you know, maybe check, try and order them online. I know a couple of you, uh, you know, we responded through emails and we don't go over any of that information or names or anything like that. So never worry about that. But, um, you know, we just need to make sure that we are out there for each other. Thank you all so much. 37,500 subscribers, guys, you guys are all part of our YouTube family. We thank you all so much for helping each other on the channel here. So many people help each other, you know, and I understand, you know, some people may not enjoy the little rants that we do here, but, you know, understand that we are doing this for the good of everyone and to make sure that we are able to get this information out here as fast as possible. I can't be in the grocery stores every day as much as I would like to and pointing out the deals every day. This allows me to still give out as much information as we can and to get a little bit of break of not being in the stores all the time. You know, so just want to throw that out there. I know we have some couple viewers on there who, you know, I, I believe me, I would rather be doing the store videos all the time. But when I can't, when I need a breather, when I need a break, this is what I can do to help everyone as much as I can. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.